O Canada Conversations are a creation of IOM, made available under the Creative Commons 3.0 IGO. Please refer to the text of the audiobook for the copyright mark and the full legal code. Funded by Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship Canada. Financé par Immigration, Refugees et Citoyenneté Canada. O Canada Conversations, Dialogue Number 31. Adult Education in Canada. The following dialogue is related to Unit 6, Education, from the Canadian Orientation Abroad Participant Workbook. For more information, refer to the following units of the Canadian Orientation Abroad Participant Workbook. 6.9. Adult Students. 6.10. Adult Language Classes. 6.11. Why do permanent residents take language classes? 6.12 Education options for adults. 6.13 Cost of post-secondary education. 6.14 Levels of post-secondary education. In this dialogue, Sadia and Ali talk on the phone. They have a discussion on language classes and their plans to make a career transition in Canada. They also share experiences on credential evaluation in Canada. Oh, hello, Sadia. Hello, Ali. Nice to hear your voice. How are you doing? How is Quebec? I am doing well. I am learning French. How about you? That is great. I am slowly improving my English here. Now that my family and I have moved into our rented apartment and we are a bit more settled, I really want to take more classes. That is a great idea. What kind of classes? Well, my English is at an intermediate level and I really want to learn French. That way I can improve my chances of working in tourism in Canada. I heard that hotels are hiring for entry positions like cleaning staff, but I would like to work at the reception desk eventually. You will definitely have a better chance of working in tourism in Canada if you can speak French. But I thought you were a lawyer in your home country. I was, but I could not get my experience and credentials recognized in Canada. I did not have all the documents with me when I fled my home country. It is also costly and time-consuming to be certified as a lawyer in Canada. I see. You must have been very frustrated. I was, but I found other ways to make a living and support my children. In my home country, my family owned a travel agency, and I always helped my parents in their office. I even had some loyal customers. That is a good idea. Thanks. I do not think I could work in a travel agency here right now, but I want to take courses in hospitality and tourism so I can find a job in the industry. Ah, I see. That makes sense. I started going to French classes last year because I live in Quebec, and all newcomers learn French since it is the official language of the province. Hmm. Knowing one of the official languages is important not only for finding a job, but for everything. Yeah, you can access services more easily, move around your new community using public transportation, and connect with other people in the community. Exactly. Plus, you will need to pass the language requirements for Canadian citizenship. Yes, exactly. Do you know how to register for language classes in Canada? Are they also available for learning English, too? Well, first, you have to ask your government-funded organization or sponsors about when and where you can do the free language assessment. Yes, language classes are available for learning English and or French. I am under the private sponsorship of refugees program like you, so I will ask my sponsor. I remember he mentioned something about it. Is this assessment a test where you can pass or fail? It is not about whether you pass or fail, but just to see what level you are at, so you can enroll in the right class. You can also take a self-assessment test online 
to get an idea of your level before you do the official assessment. Okay, and how about the classes themselves? What are they like? I like my French class. It teaches me more than just language. I get to learn about life in Canada too. That is nice. How often can you go? For my classes, I go part-time on certain evenings after work. But this might not be available for other language schools. It really depends on your schedule and what is offered in your community. You can choose classes that are full-time, part-time, during the day, evening, or on weekends. I do not have anyone to take care of my children when I am in my language classes. You can ask for help with childcare. The language school may offer support like covering the cost of public transportation tickets and childcare. So you can go to your class. It is something you can ask about. Ah, these things would make it easier to go to language classes. Yes, there may be other types of support available too. I have heard that even for adults who have not completed primary or secondary school, there are classes to help them get their diploma. Some of these classes also teach adults how to read and write, even if they do not know how to in their own language. That is good to know. I should let Fatima know about it. Fatima? Obasi's mother-in-law. Oh, right. She is 68 years old. Because she was the oldest child, she had to start working to help her family. She only got the chance to finish three years of schooling before her father died. She told me her wish was to learn how to read and write. Maybe these courses will help her fulfill her dream. That is great to hear. Maybe Obasi can ask if they are available in Winnipeg too. It is always great to learn a new skill. Right now, I am working at a restaurant, but I want to study culinary management at a college. I want to run my own restaurant one day in Canada. That is a great idea. I called the Canadian Information Centre for International Credentials for the credential evaluation process before I applied for tourism programs in college. What do you mean? Well, if you have completed studies at a college, institute or university outside Canada, you might be able to have your credentials recognized, so you do not have to do them all over again. I learned that studies completed at a college, institute or university outside Canada may not automatically be recognized here. That is good. You have done quite a lot of studies to become a lawyer. I hope some of the studies I completed get recognized. I know that to continue your studies or work in a certain occupation in Canada, your previous studies need to be evaluated. They call it a credential evaluation. You told me you did some courses in a college after getting a high school diploma. Have you thought about having your credentials evaluated? I had not really thought about it because I did not think it would be possible. But hearing about this now, I'm quite interested. Where do I start? As soon as possible. But remember, the credential evaluation process takes time and costs money. Right. The next step is to collect as many documents as you have. Do I have to collect my diplomas and school transcripts? It is a good idea to collect all that information. It is also advisable for someone with more experience and academic history to collect all degrees, certificates, and school transcripts, as well as any proof of work history and employer or supervisor references. What do I do next? Search for places to study and find a program that interests you. Learn about its application and admission requirements. If you are interested in a program, contact the admissions office to find out what kind of education evaluation they accept. What about language levels? I am sure language levels matter. You are right. You will need to check if you need to do an English or French language assessment. It is helpful to know what language level you are, especially when applying to schools which require a certain language level. Wow, thank you. How do you know so much? 
I went through the same process when I just tried to have my degree and experience recognized in Canada. I see. And is the education system the same all across Canada? No. Keep in mind that the education system varies depending on your province or territory. But after you get your secondary school diploma, there are a few options in Canada. Students can either go to a college for two to three years, an institute for one to three years, or to university to get a bachelor's degree, which usually takes four years or so to complete. What about in Quebec? In Quebec, before university, a person has to complete a pre-university program for two years. In that case, they can complete their bachelor's degree in three years instead of four. I remember Obasi was talking about his career as a welder when he was in his home country. For now, he works as an assembly line worker, but he wants to work as a welder in Canada. He should also do a credential evaluation to get previous studies and work experience recognized. After that, Obasi would be able to work as a welder in Canada. Oh, and what if someone wants to do a master's degree or a doctorate in the future? Do you happen to know how many years that would take? I have a friend who had to leave her country while she was in her second year of bachelor's studies. She should do a credential evaluation too. She can finish her bachelor's and pursue a master's degree, which can last between one to three years, and eventually a doctorate degree, which would take at least three years. That is great, and she will be happy to hear about it. As for me and Obasi, I guess both of us will have to get started on this credential evaluation process. Do you have the phone number that I should call for a credential evaluation? I do, actually. Let me find it in my phone. One minute. Yes, I found it. Here is the number for the Canadian Information Center for International Credentials. 1-416-962-5500. Four one six nine six two nine seven two five. Is that right? Yes, it is. Thank you, Sadia. I will call them in the next few days. Great. Thank you so much for the information. No problem. I have to go now. Good luck, Ali. Talk to you soon. Bye. End of dialogue unit.